Hello and welcome. Here we grow wild and we try to make the things that we want and need. And it's the 1st of May, so today I want to regenerate myself. I want to bake, I want to knit, I want to forage. And I'm gonna try to bring you with me. The first thing uh, that I wanna do is to harvest a little bit of lilac blossoms. There is a beautiful lilac bush uh, next to our house here. And I've checked some recipes online. Um, you basically can create different things with lilac blossoms. They are edible. I have done in the past the lilac infused honey and it's just so delicious but I would like to make a cake so I think I'll try to infuse um, the coconut oil that I want to use in the cake with lilac blossoms. i never done that before. I know that you need to kind of let it brew let the petals sit in the oil for two to four weeks but I don't have that time I want to I think I'll just maybe warm it up um, at the you know very low heat and see if the coconut oil can pick up some of the amazing properties and scents and taste of the lilac blossoms it's gonna be a little bit of an experiment so we'll see let's go to the beautiful tree i'm gonna bring you with me the coconut oil um, with um, the lilac blossoms and I think I'll use about maybe three or four of these beautiful clusters. I'm just gonna remove the green stem and use only the flowers. Okay, I'm following this page, uh, Foraged by Fern. I love her, she's an amazing forager. And she has a video on Instagram um, 
which is about lilac sugar. So it's really simple to make. You basically um, put some lilac flowers and some white sugar into a food processor, you blend everything together and then you place the sugar um, on a baking tray and you either put it at very low temperature on the oven to kind of dry out because the flowers, especially the fresh ones, have a lot of water or you just place the baking tray with the sugar, lilac sugar in the sun to kind of dry out. It's a super fun recipe so I'm gonna do that uh, as well but um, go and check her page because she has so many amazing recipes um, with beautiful wild plants and ingredients. So I'm gonna make a lilac sugar and maybe use it in a cake with a coconut um, infused lilac flower. So it's gonna be a lilac cake. <laughs> My camera died halfway through the process, but I kept on uh, baking and creating. This is the result. I decided to write down a recipe because I couldn't find anything online that was satisfying. So I wrote down a little, a little Lilac cake recipe. We have no idea how this will turn out, but this mix tastes delish. So I've used two cups of flowers, one cup of brown sugar with the Lilac blended together, two deciliters of coconut infused with Lilac blooms, two eggs, one teaspoon of baking soda, one deciliter of IPA beer and two tablespoons of honey. And I mix the, I first mix the dry ingredients together and then the wet ingredients together and then I slowly mixed everything together. And this is the result. It's super delish. Like this, it's delicious. I am pre-eating the oven at 100. 80 degrees Celsius, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'll place the cake mix in the oven for 30 minutes and we'll see. Let's cross fingers that this lilac cake will be delish. Okay, while I wait that the cake bakes, I am sitting near the computer. I'm gonna Need a couple of rows on this dress and I'm very excited because I'm about to contact a little family owned yarn company and they have this beautiful farm, um, they have amazing practices, they have their own sheep, they treat them in an amazing way, very respectful, very caring way and they produce beautiful yarns, they dye their yarns with natural uh, plants and materials and ingredients and um, I found them like on Instagram and they live nearby not super nearby but like an hour by car on the mountains and I also want to gift myself one of their skeins they came out with this um, it's called Artemisia it's a blend of their wool and cruelty free silk that is produced in this Italian um, uh, company in the south of Italy called Nido di Seta uh, and so they kind of collaborated to create this beautiful yarn and it's half wool I think half silk it's 100 grams and um, it's about 300 meters this is their the yarn I don't know how much you can see and it's just uh, they have just one color for now but yeah, I want to contact them and ask them if I can go there and interview them because I think it would be so interesting to, you know, get to know local yarn companies and also let the world know that there are um, amazing yarn companies that really take care of the animals and really put a lot of um, energy and love to create yarns that are um, regenerative and sustainable for the animals and the ecological system around them but we don't know maybe they're not interested to be interviewed which is totally fine so I'm just gonna write them an email 
the cake is ready. So I'm gonna take out the cake and then write this email and uh, let's hope they will want to meet me and uh, maybe we can, uh, you know, get to know them. I really would love that. Let's get the cake. so delish my goodness I was a bit worried because I came up with the recipe myself and I'm not really a baker or anything but it's delicious and it's very fluffy and soft I couldn't resist and I cut it before waiting for it to cool, cool down now I just wrap it in a piece of cloth and um, I'm just gonna let it rest and cool down but I already ate a little piece and it's delish it has a very like gentle floral taste I am very proud of myself and <laughs> I think I'll make it again for my birthday my family is gonna come to visit us so this is going to be the birthday cake I think is delish I think it would be even better with maybe ice cream or liliac cream or frost I've never done frost before I think so I could experiment with that but uh, we'll see it's absolutely delish and um, I'm enjoying it with a cup of herbal infused tea, um, horse still and lemon balm. I've been really craving horse still for some reason. I think I need the extra minerals um, that this plant has, the, the silica, the magnesium. Lemon balm is a very like anxiety reliever type of plant. It really helps with anxiety and kind of helps you to relax so cheers mm. talking about yarns and knitting I showed you this dress before it's a um, very beautiful silky dress that I'm knitting on and um, I think I have like maybe 15 centimeters left I think and then I wanted to show you something that I received for my birthday my amazing friend Ali she has a podcast I mentioned her before Ali in sweatpants podcast go and check her out she is the most generous person in the world for me she gifted me a sweater quantity of both of these yarns. So this is a bamboo and cotton blend. In this, this is the color Pe Pebble 610. And it's from the brand King Cole. Maybe it's a UK brand. And this to me, I mean, it looks like gray, light gray silver, but it... I think he has some like lilac undertones, just like very subtle. And I decided to cast on something with this. And then she gifted me this. <laughs> this uh, is the Linendale, and is a is very similar to the Line by Sandeskorn and the Bell by Drops. 
uh, is 57% cotton, 30% viscose and 13% linen. And uh, she gifted me this super fun raspberry color. I think it's like raspberry. Yeah, that's the, the color. And she gifted me a sweater quantity of both. So I can go crazy and create like either a full sweater or a dress. I mean, it's so exciting. She's so generous and honest and light and joyful person. And I, yeah, I cherish our friendship. I wish we were living close to one another so we could hang out. Thank you so much. And I wanted to show you what I cast it on with this one. I was thinking to cast on something with this because it's the color I'm kind of excited to knit with at the moment. I've knitted several garments in this kind of sh color pink and stuff. But I decided to cast on another one in this color. This is the back. And I finished the kind of back and now I have to knit the the two front parts it's gonna be a cardigan so yeah the two fronts and then i'll join the back with the two fronts and start knitting forth and back um the entire body and i am so in love with this yarn it's just so squishy it creates especially um knitting like brioche that already creates a very squishy fabric but with this it's just next level squishiness and <laughs> it's, it's so nice knitting brioche takes so much more time it takes double the time and the yarn you would need to knit a normal um a normal sweater or a normal garment so um because every like it takes two rows to create one row if that makes sense oh, this is i guess the knitting update <laughs> section of this video last year like in the summer i cast around this massive ingrid um, sweater or pullover by gregoria fibers and this is for mike i want to knit on it i want to pick it up again because it's fun and um, I'm knitting it with this beautiful linen and cotton blend. Uh, this is uh, Boo Moulin by Drops. It's a beautiful linen and cotton blend. And I was thinking to knit a Ingrid pullover or sweater by Gregoria Fiber for myself in this color. So we will have like match matching sweaters, I guess. However, I'm not sure I want to, like, it's really nice and fun to knit with, like, on this garment. But maybe he will wear a drop shoulder stockinette sweater, summer sweater, more than this. Because this has all of these tiny, like, yarn overs holes. Which I think is fine. I mean, he saw the finish design, the pullover, and he really liked it. I just don't know. Maybe it's not. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to show this to him again and see what he thinks. Because maybe I can rip it off, even though it was quite a lot of work. And use the yarn to knit maybe a plain stockinette top-down sweater for him but um, otherwise I just continue knitting on this and then in the future I'll cast on another one for myself in this color I think it would be nice to have two matching ones we'll see what he says um, because he hasn't seen this um, yet so we'll see and uh, yeah, that's the update. The beautiful yarns I received. I cannot, Ali, this is so wonderful. And I love the drape. It has a lot of drape. It's cotton and bamboo, so lots of drape. Um, but I think I love this in like, 
it is such a good staple color and it's such a beautiful like squishy yarn so these are the projects that i want to focus on and i'm gonna finish this i finished the skirt that i've been knitting and testing and i'll show it to you dogs are going crazy i'll show it to you in one of my next podcast episodes it's an amazing pattern and yeah i'll show it to you now it's blocking okay gonna knit on this and uh, edit and answer to some emails and uh, yeah relax a little bit so thank you so very much for joining me on this little like baking and knitting update type of journey thank you so much to all my patrons for supporting me i wouldn't be able to upload this consistently if i didn't have their support it really helps so much if you want to join us on patreon i'll link it in the description box and i'll link the recipe of the cake in the description box as well hopefully you'll try it you'll make it it's delicious i'm so looking forward for it to cool down so we can feast on it <laughs> okay i'm gonna keep on knitting and i'll see you very soon bye mm -hmm.